1993, a bank near Vancouver, Canada hired a stockbroker named Trent. The bank was located in a small suburb tucked away in the shadow of nearby Vancouver where most of the big business deals were being made. Given the location and the fact that Trent was a rookie, no one expected much from him, neither his employer nor his family. But he made brisk progress after joining the company and he credited his progress to that one small daily habit that he imbibed in his everyday life. So every morning he used to take two jars, one filled with marbles and the other empty. Whenever he used to make a sales call, he used to move one marble from that cup to the empty cup. So he made 120 sales call every day and every single time he made a sales call, he moved one marble from the filled cup to the empty cup. By the end of the day, Trent would have moved 120 marbles from one cup to another. Every morning I would start with 120 marbles in one jar and I would keep dialing the phone until I had moved them all to the second jar, he told. Within 18 months, Trent brought $5 million for his company and within six months he got three job offers which were all in six figures from other companies. What led to the success of Trent the stockbroker has been explained in the book Atomic Habits written by James Clear. In this book he refers to this marble moving strategy as a paper clip strategy. So whenever you make a small progress, whenever you move towards your goal, you move one paper clip from the fill jar to the empty jar. One woman shifted a hairpin from one container to another whenever she wrote a page of her book. One man pushed one marble from the fill cup to the empty cup whenever he finished one set of push-ups. Why this technique works, why this strategy works, is because whenever we see ourselves making progress, we feel satisfied, we feel elated and anything that visually represents that movement towards the goal becomes even more satisfying for us. It provides clear evidence of your progress like moving paper clips, moving marbles or moving hairpins. It shows that we have made progress and that too visually. There is a visual evidence that we have made some progress towards our goal. As a result, they reinforce your behavior and add a little bit of immediate satisfaction to any act. Visual measurement comes in many forms. Food journals, workout logs, loyalty punch cards. But perhaps the best way to measure your progress as said by the author in the book Active Habits through a strategy called as Habit Tracker as explained by the author James Clear in his book Atomic Habits. A habit tracker is a simple way to measure if you performed or if you didn't perform an activity. So suppose if you have a habit of practicing yoga every morning five days a week. So you take a calendar and whenever you're doing yoga in that week, you take that day off. So whenever you're visually seeing that you are able to do something, you're able to reach towards your goal, that's visually appealing and satisfying to us. It gives a physical evidence that we have moved closer to our goals. Countless people have tracked their habits and a lot of people have even talked about it. Jerry Seinfeld reportedly used a habit tracker to stick with his stick of writing jokes. In an interview, Jerry said that he always carries a diary with himself and whenever he is able to find or remember, research has shown that people who track their progress on goals like losing weight, quitting smoking and lowering blood pressure are all more likely to improve than those who don't. One study that was conducted on 1600 people said that people who maintain food logs or food journals were able to lose twice as much as weight as compared to the people who did not maintain a food journal or a food log. The mere act of tracking a behavior can spark the urge to change it. Whenever we are able to measure our progress, it swiftly makes us move towards our goals. One sight at the number of marbles I have moved from one jar to another gives me a physical evidence as to how much progress I have made and that makes me very honest towards my progress. I am not able to lie because I can see, I can measure what has happened to my progress. 
when the evidence is right in front of you, you are less likely to lie to yourself. Habit tracking is also attractive in nature. Whenever we see ourselves making progress, whenever we see ourselves taking one step after another, we know that that motivation factor is growing for us. We become more motivated to continue down the path. In that way, habit tracking can have an addictive effect on motivation. And with no time, you will feel that habit tracking has become addictive in nature. Because once you move 10 marbles, you want to move 10 more. Because you want to see the physical evidence of change. Habit tracking is a reminder how far you have come. Suppose you wake up in the morning and you see an empty jar of marbles. You know that by the end of the day, you have to fill it up. And that's what makes you get started in the morning. That's what pushes you and that's what motivates you to get started and to push yourself towards your goal. Habit tracking can be satisfying. It is so satisfying to take a calendar and see how many tick marks you have for the number of yoga sessions you have done in a week. It is satisfying to see the amount of filled marbles that were empty in a jar in the morning. With habit tracking, you just don't focus on the result. You also focus on the destination. You know that every single marble you're moving, you're feeling elated, you're feeling satisfied and you're feeling happy. And that is what you're enjoying much more than seeing the filled. When you're doing six packs every day and with every set you're moving hairpins or marbles, you're not just feeling happy by the six packs you're getting, you're feeling happy with the every movement of the hairpin. And that makes you not miss out on your yoga sessions because you know if you're not able to do it, you will not check mark that on your calendar. And this is what happened with Trent whose story I spoke about in the beginning. He was on a winning streak. He was seeing success every single day with every marble movement from one jar to another and that led to his success. And when he did it consistently over every single day for every small marble that he was moving from one jar to another, he was seeing success. He was seeing satisfaction and elation. So the use of paper clip strategy, moving one paper clip to another jar whenever we are making small progress has been emphasized and explained in the book Atomic Habits which has become one of the number one bestseller for focus for productivity. Making progress is satisfying and whenever we have visual measures to see the amount of progress we have made that really amps our motivation level and pushes us to do more. If you like the contents of this video and if you want to know about such similar strategies which can move you towards success, which can move you towards better focus and productivity in life, please do share your comments in the comment section and I will post more of such videos which are evidence backed, which are promoted and spoken of by various researchers and authors all across the world. There are a lot of simple techniques that we can just imbibe in our everyday life and see significant progress happening over time. If you like the contents of this video, please do like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll make more such videos if you put across your comments. Thank you.